Just wanted to do a real quick instructional on how to apply water slide decals in case that's something you don't know how to do. Um, this is a guitar I've been working on for the last few weeks. Um, it is actually a 1983 uh, Memphis, um, but we're kind of making it look like the early 80s uh, ESPs, the Series 400s. Um, so as you see, we've already got a couple water slides that we've already done on it. Um, just real quick, going to show pretty much what you need. Uh, there's nothing to fear and, and kind of how to get this done. Um, we're going to be applying our uh, serial number, uh, which is actually taken from a, a series. It's not a real serial number, but it is the series uh, numbers that they used around that time frame. Um, and it says the, the Made in Japan. Um, real quick, what you will need, obviously, with water slide decals, you're going to need a bowl of water, a pair of scissors to get your decals out. Um, a hobby knife or exacto knife, something that's going to be really, really sharp, uh, even a, uh, a two-sided razor. Um, a type of clear coat, um, preferably a really, really good one that's uh, kind of more on the side of like a nitro with a fine mist. Um, I love this Spray Max, but it's not the cheapest. Um, you're typically looking anywhere from $15 to $20 a can uh, versus the, the Rust-Oleum, which you can get in a, a poly, uh, acrylic, or in the enamel. Um, really, that's about all you need to, to get started, and we'll, uh, we'll get going here. So we're going to flip this guitar neck over and map out where we want to actually place the decal. You want to cut your decal as close to the actual image as possible uh, to minimize any types of, uh, of lines that can show on the surface of the item uh, you're putting your water slide decal on. Now that we've got our decal cut, uh, we're going to go ahead and place it in this bowl of water. Uh, keep in mind, you want the water to be as close to room temperature as possible. We're going to let that sit in for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then we'll pull it back out. Now we're going to pull the decal out and sit it on a microfiber cloth, just so it uh, doesn't have anything to really get stuck to. Um, it still has the backing paper on it, but while we're letting that set up for about the next 30 to 45 seconds, uh, it's good to have a paintbrush nearby if you have a couple spare clean paintbrushes. Uh, we're going to take the brush and just kind of lightly brush some water across the surface of the, uh, the image space where we're going to place it. Uh, there's a couple other products you can use. Uh, you can use like a micro saw, uh, micro set. Uh, combination. Uh, you can usually get that at your local ho uh, hobby store or uh, like a craft store. You want to carefully separate the decal from the backing paper and then we will get this positioned on here exactly where we want it to go. You want to be very careful not to tear your decal and as we get it in place, take one of those clean paint brushes. Um, I like to use it to kind of brush down the edges, uh, get all the excess water out from underneath the decal and to wipe it away from the headstock itself. So there you go guys, uh, that's pretty much it. The decal came out great. Uh, we are gonna do another coat of clear coat over the top of it just to make sure it stays in place forever. Um, but looking really, really good. Uh, as you can see, obviously I've got another couple decals that I've already uh, put on there. So we were just adding to the authenticity uh, uh, look of this guitar. Uh, hope you all got a lot out of this, and I'll see you all next time.